All right, so what I wanted to do here today is show you basically how to make a rub, a dry rub, and then apply it to a piece of meat. In this case, it is a brisket rub, um, which I will be making available shortly um, on my site, uh, Grill and Recipes and Rubs. Um, I'm going to have in all my recipes mix the rub by hand, and there, there's a good reason for that. Uh, you can't use any kind of a fork or implement uh, to really get it mixed up very well. So as you can see there, I've got brown sugar with the rest of my ingredients. And doing a mix by hand just really gets the brown sugar and everything else in there really well. So you want to get it evenly mixed and uh, done to the point where all the lumps of the brown sugar are broken up. Um, and you've got an even mix of all your, your spices. This particular rub has quite a few of them, so you want to make sure you've got an even distribution. Now, if you're sensitive to uh, hot spices and you have a rub that has, you know, uh, pepper in it, um, cayenne or, or habanero or whatever, you might want to put on some rubber gloves, and, and that's fine. You could do that. It will protect your hands, um, and like I said, if you have any cuts, it will keep uh, the hot spices from getting out of your, getting into your cuts. So keep on mixing it for just a little bit until you are sure that all those brown sugar lumps or anything that you have in there is just well mixed. Uh, brown sugar, of course, is a little moist, so it tends to clump up, and, and, and again, you want to get it evenly distributed. So in this case, as I mentioned, I am, uh, I'm doing a brisket here, and, and bear with me, I'm, I'm flying solo, so I'm trying to <laughs> record and, and do this at the same time. So... Here's your brisket over here. This is a full beef brisket, um, one of my favorite, favorite things. I've got a recipe on online for my beef brisket. Um, the rub for that recipe is slightly different than this one I have here. This is actually uh, my, my real homegrown rub uh, that I've been messing with for quite a bit of time here. Uh, many recipes, many, many years of getting it right. So you can see the fat pad on this, this thing, um, sticking with the beef. Uh, again... The rub applies for anything, but this is really to, to uh, display what a, what a brisket should look like. That fat's really important. That fat is what is going to uh, give it flavor as it's on the grill, fat side up. Um, it's going to tenderize the meat and, and cook through to really make this rather tough piece of meat nice and tender. So, uh, again, bear with me. I've got uh, working, working one hand on the camera and one hand on the rub here. So what you want to do is you want to get this nice and really well coated um, all over the place here. And there you go. And from there what we're going to do is we're going to rub this into the meat as well as possible. So here we go. And you really want this to get into the meat. So you can see I'm, I'm really pressing it and rubbing it in there. Oh, by the way, I patted the meat dry beforehand. That's really good to do with a rub. Um, you want to make sure that um, it's not wet with, with blood and water. So you really want to get that as dry as possible as you can beforehand. And then rub it in. I'm going to do the front, back, and sides, actually twice. So I'm going to leave this, let this soak in for a little bit. I'm going to take some rub. I'm going to get it on the sides as well to make sure that I've got a full cover on the entire brisket here. I'm going to do all of it twice. And the longer you leave it sit on there, the more it just, just gets, gets into the meat. Um, so... That's basically a demonstration. Of course, I didn't do the other side, but it's pretty self-explanatory after you see this. You really want to have the meat covered. You're, you're not going to see any real meat through here. You're, all you're going to do is see the rub. So that's about what it should look like. Like I said, I'm going to touch it up with some more um, after I let this sit in for a little bit. But that's ultimately what it's going to look like uh, when it's ready to go. Pretty much 24 hours on anything that you're going to be rubbing. 